So welcome back everyone. This is the enumerations part two video and in this one we're going to cover well we're going to dig into a little bit deeper with the underlying variable type that enumerated values have and then we're going to look at some of the common problems we might encounter with this and best practice for uh, preventing those sorts of problems. So let's go straight into the Visual Basic Editor and we can see the code here is where we left off at the end of enumerations part one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an extra line of code here to say debug.print um, type of my fruit and we'll use type name of my fruit. Okay, so that'll print out the underlying type of this variable here, my fruit to the immediate window. I'm also going to put a breakpoint in here because I want to see what goes on um, in the locals window as we're executing this piece of code. Let's put on, let's, let's compile that and then let's press the play button. And this will stop just before we execute this line of code here. Um, we're going to view the locals window first of all and we can see here we've got my fruit it's got a value of orange and it's of the type e fruit that's exactly what we're expecting and that's exactly what we want let's remove the breakpoint and continue the execution and then let's take a look in the immediate window and we can see here my fruit is a value of one which we're expecting because it's an orange but the type of my fruit is actually a long, which means the underlying variable type of an enumerated variable is a long rather than showing up as, as my fruit, for example. Now, what does that mean in practical terms? Well, there's a common almost problem and, and something that we need to keep an eye out for with uh, VBA and with enumerated variables, which is what we could do is instead of having my fruit assigned to an orange we could instead assign my fruit the value of seven now this should compile fine without any problems and we should be able to run the code through and then let's take a look in the immediate window and we can see my fruit's got a value of seven there were no problems at all with the execution of that um, there were no syntax errors nothing to indicate that there was any sort of a problem however the value of seven does not actually exist within the enumeration for e fruits. Now, one way around this is to have some kind of uh, validation code or a validation function, which checks a given variable against the allowable values. Um, I'll talk about that in a later video, but for now, it's something that I just want you to be aware of when you're dealing with enumerations. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to dig a little bit deeper into the numbering uh, conventions when we create an enumeration. We can see the defaults were that apple had a value of zero, orange had a value of one, and pear had a value of two. Let's let's change that a little bit and let's say apple is two, and we're going to leave orange and pear with with no value being set. We'll compile that and then we'll run our print fruit subroutine again, and let's open up the immediate window. And we can see what we get is apple is 2, orange is 3, and pear is 4. And one more change which I'm going to make is to create a new one. Let's call it mango. And then I'm going to assign pear a value of, let's say, 8. Okay, and let's add mango to the bottom here. Debug.print mango e fruit. Whoops. Mango. Okay, let's compile that and then let's run our code again. And uh, let's open up the immediate window. Oops, let's clear that out first, shall we? And then we'll rerun it. And we can see we get apple is two, orange is three. Then we skip to a value of eight for pear because we have manually set the value for a pear. And mango gets a value of nine. And in this case, my fruit, which is an orange, gets the value of three. Again, that makes sense. Okay, the numbering conventions with enumerations are that 
when you assign a value, it then increments by one for each subsequent element of the enumeration until it finds another manual assignment at which point it, it steps up and resets it for any subsequent um, elements of the enumeration. Now the best practice for enumerations and what I would advise you to do is to start at zero and manually assign values to each of them. Now this creates a little more work um, but there's a very good reason for it which is you could have a situation where let's say you haven't done this and we've got back to our original code we don't have a mango in there let's let's remove the mango and let's say that we had a a subroutine which or sorry we had a block of code an if block let's say if um my my fruit equals and instead of having apple orange or pear let's say we had a value of um 2 then now this is perfectly valid VBA code because my fruit is actually a long integer in the background as the underlying variable type. So this should compile without a problem. It should run without a problem. And we'll do something. We'll say debug.print. Uh, we have an, what was it? It was a pair. Right. So this is what the code and how it would run at the moment. Let's remove Mango from here. Let's let's compile that and let's just clear out the immediate window. It's already clear. Let's run this. Um, and my fruit's not a value of two. It's not a pair. So let's actually assign it to be a pair. Right. Okay. And let's let's compile and run. So we have a pair. Great. Now what's going to happen is we're going to say, well, so now let's say that instead of assigning it to be a pair, we had, for example, assigned it the value of two. And then let's say somebody else comes along, they've picked up your code and they want to make some additions to it, make some changes to it. And what they do is they add in a new variable, sorry, a new enumerated value here, mango. They don't add it onto the end, they add it on somewhere in the middle. Now, the problem is that this changes the number in for each of the subsequent uh, elements of this enumeration. So now a pair would have a value of 0, 1, 2, 3, not a value of 2. Okay? So this if block would now be behaving in a very odd way because we're using the value of 2, assuming that the value of 2 is a pair, and we're printing out something or doing some piece of code or execution which is specific to a pair, but the underlying value of a pair is now different. It's no longer the number 2. It's now the number 3. And the only reason is because we've added a mango in somewhere above the pair in the underlying enumeration definition. Let's compile this code. See, it compiles absolutely fine. And we're going to uh, clear out the immediate window. And then we're going to run this. Okay. So this is saying we have a pair when actually my fruit has a value of 2. Um, and 2 is no longer a pair because 0, 1, 2, it's an orange. So the key message and key output from this is when we have an enumeration, um, it's much better to manually assign values to each of the elements of the enumeration. In this case, apple equals zero. Let's get rid of mango. Orange equals one. And pear equals two. And we'll then go to efruits.orange. And we'll just get rid of this, uh, this block of code here. Okay.